Right, we're on. I'm at Pula Golf Resort in Mallorca. Left armpit controls strike. Your left armpit controls strike. It controls low point, and that's today's topic. If you have a problem with strike, who doesn't? Or a problem understanding low point with each iron because every ball position is slightly different. This is going to help you. Enjoy the video. Here we go. So left armpit controls strike. I've taken three clubs here, three different clubs. So I've got a four iron, a seven iron and a wedge. Arguably three different ball positions. Ball position can be dictated by a constant ball position or a variable ball position. Either you move your feet and leave the ball exactly where it is or the ball position moves slightly. That's another video, that's for you to decide. So my three clubs, four iron, seven iron, wedge, some golf balls and this cane and this cane are going to be in line with my ball position. Now I'm going to hit a couple of shots here and the ball position will stay, will move, but the low point will be dictated by where my left armpit is. Because left armpit controls strike, wherever that moves to, that's where strike's going to be, or that's where low point's going to be. In Bobby Clampett's book, Impact Zone, he reckons the further forward you have your low point of your arc, the lower your handicap will be. Amen. Totally agree. I've got a wedge in my hand. Here we go, there's my ball position for my wedge, just kind of central, up to the top, hit golf ball, low point should be past impact, but it's dictated by my left armpit. That's your lead side armpit, don't get that mixed up with your right armpit because that would be tragic. <laughs> Take my position, for wedge, now, left armpit, wherever that is just now, in relation to ball position, assuming good strike, that's where the low point of my arc would be, so the, the club makes an arc, it gets to its lowest point somewhere, so just now, my ball position for my wedge is probably the furthest back, or it will be the furthest back, between 7-iron and 4-iron and wedge. So if I then take this position and put my arms straight, so there, straight out, in line with there is where my low point should be. Okay, so I put the club in line with left arm. There, perfect alignment, and then move that forward to my left arm, straight up and down there. Now that is about four inches ahead of the golf ball. That's where my low point will be for my wedge, assuming I hit the golf ball correctly. Assuming I hit the golf ball correctly. So ball set up. I set myself up just to hit a normal wedge, nothing fancy, just a normal wedge with a bit of compression, understanding the left shoulder, the left armpit, sorry, Okay, good clean crisp wedge. There's my divot, there's where ball was. So you can see where the ball was and then the divot target side. So I'm perfectly happy with that strike. That was very good. Low point exactly where I expected it to be. Now I'm gonna hit my seven iron, but what I have to do is I have to make sure that the left armpit, it moves behind the golf ball. So my left armpit was now here that far behind the golf ball. So I have to sit into my left side in the transition to ensure my low point is correct. So moving the left armpit is so important. So I don't want to keep it there and try and return to that position through golf ball because I'm going to come down far too steep. I have to move the left armpit behind the golf ball and then understand it moves ahead again to there. And of course there's straight line there. So the low point controlled by the left armpit, is four inches ahead of the golf ball. Now that's with wedge. Seven iron, where do you think low point for seven iron will be? If ball positions move slightly further forward? That's right, low point will be a little bit closer to the golf ball, not as far forward as the four inches. That was a class wedge shot, by the way, just for the record. So seven iron, now my ball position slightly further forward. So I'm there. Okay, so there's less forward shaft lean, wedge was further back, there's slightly less forward shaft lean, and then from there, if I put my arm straight, I can see my low point. There's my straight line there. Okay, if I swing it round, there. So low point's there. It's now probably three inches ahead of golf ball because the ball's moved further forward. Okay, so assuming, assuming strike's good, understanding the armpit moving off the golf ball, back through, it won't move through as much this time because the ball position's further forward. There's no way I'm going to get myself to here. It's ridiculous. I might feel as though I am. So low point will change slightly with 7-iron. 
from there, it's my dress position, 7 iron, ball position slightly further forward, varying more towards left chest, low point, straight line, there, about 3 inches ahead, 2 or 3 inches ahead, a good solid 7 iron, okay, hit it pretty well, low point is at the end of that grip there, so I never got the compression, but you'll be able to see where the divot is. So I'm hitting to our left, you can see there divot from wedge, and just at the butt end of that golf club is where the divot for 7 iron is. I'll hit one more with 7 iron, try and get a little bit more compression. Ball position, good. Low point will just be ahead, it's actually bang on there. But I won't get the huge compression because the ball position is further forward. Okay, that was good. So there's divot for wedge, goes from there to there. Divot for 7 iron, starts in the same spot, finishes here. So we've lost that amount of divot because ball position is further back. So one divot is from here to here for the wedge, 7 iron here to here. Now we'll hit 4 iron. So 4 iron divot, what do you think? Might not be a divot, certainly a lot smaller divot. Why is that? Ball position's pushed further forward again. 4 iron, ball position, Further forward now, there we are. So now you can see clearly that there's a much straighter line. If I take this straight line, it's just about an inch past impact. I actually try and just pick my four iron more off the deck, um, but I won't on this occasion, just to, to prove the purpose, to prove the point. Left armpit, there's good ball position. Left armpit moves behind. So it moves quite a long way behind because it started further back than it did with the wedge and the seven iron. And then from there come through, it doesn't get nearly as far forward ahead of it because the ball position is further forward, but still it's all relevant. The left armpit controls strike. There, there, four iron. Okay, thinned it. Let's try again. We're all human. Better, much better. Wedges from there to there, seven iron there to there, four iron there to there. That was good. Nice wee thin though. So there we go, top one's wedge, middle one, seven iron, and then finally four iron. And that is how left armpit can control strike. It's very important to understand that, having the knowledge of ball position and where low point's going to be. We're not always going to be four inches ahead of that golf ball. If you're hitting four iron, it's a perfect example. I can't get that four inches ahead because the ball position is too far forward. A thinned one, because as I say, I normally take the four iron clean. Um, wasn't a great example, but I stepped up and was able to execute on the second shot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. As you know, it's free of charge. And also hit the thumbs up button. That seems to work well on YouTube. Thanks very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.